Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a very important question. And this question is both asked as an interview question as well. Plus, you will be having, rather you will be knowing how the calculate function works. So as you know, the calculate function has a filter as well as an expression inside it. And how does it evaluate if there are multiple calculates within each other? So all these questions will be solved using this very simple example, but yet it is very tricky as well. So let's get started. So this is the question. Uh, first of all, we have to have the, this is going to be the model. This is the model model okay and as evident we are having the color and numbers tables and they are connected using one to many so the occurrence of color over here if you see this particular table which is black and white and the numbers table will be having these values which is black white and black if you see black one the quantity is one this this particular row the first row and the third row okay both of them are similar black one black one so it is repeating now let us go to the main question okay and this is very interesting so you see this is the question so they have written a measure called something and uh, there is a nested calculate so uh, this particular calculate if i can just mark this so this per particular calculate okay this is residing inside this calculate right so now what happens right so the inner calculate has an filter of color equals black correct and the outer calculate has a filter of colors equal white so what will get returned will i be getting black or will i be getting blank or will i be getting white eny is conducting multiple interviews for power bi nowadays and this is a very common question which i am getting uh, in my mail that eny is asking this question a lot so and this is a very interesting question uh, as well right so they are also adding one more option called error that you will be getting an option d called error so what will be the correct answer to this question right so let us go ahead and try this out in a pbix file and don't worry you can download the pbix file for your practice from the description as well as the comment so guys we are inside power bi i have written the exact measure uh, which is one calculate within the other the out inside calculate is having black the outside calculate has white let's create a quick card and drag and drop this so i'll go to the card visual and i will drag this see it is going to give you black now the question is why so if you come back if you come back to the main visual and if i can zoom this a bit see how the calculate function works is first of all uh, you have to go to the outer calculate and the outer calculates will evaluate the filter expression first right so so this is my filter right color equal to white and for the outer calculate this will gets evaluated first okay so this is step number one so what it's doing is it's going it's going to store the second row which is white right but after that we will go to step number two so the evaluation for the outer calculator is done for the inside calculate again this is step number two and it will go to the filter expression first which is color equal to black right so again this will get reset so this will get reset no longer it's going to point to the white but right now it's going to point to black right after that it will evaluate this guy which is my expression so what's the expression doing basically values as you are aware it stores distinct values from a particular column so my column is color in color I'm having two values, namely black and white. These are the two distinct values. Now out of these two values, black and white, which are stored inside values, only black will be filtered, which is my ultimate answer. So if you go ahead and click black, see, it gives you the correct answer. And also read the explanation that calculate evaluates it filters before evaluating the expression. Therefore, white is evaluated first. And then black overrides the then existing white filter context. In the end, the measure returns. So I hope you are clear with the explanation, guys. If you need any further explanation, because this is a very important uh, topic, how calculate works, right? And it will be asked in many interviews, whether you're a beginner, whether you're intermediate, or whether you're an expert in Power BI. So guys, if you're liking my videos, do not forget to subscribe to the channel because it is your subscription that keeps me motivated to make more such videos like this. And if you have any further comments related to calculate or how this is working, do let me know in the comment section. By the way, uh, the model remains same. I'll be bringing more interview questions similar to this, the tricky one. So, so don't forget to press the bell icon 
on to receive all the notifications whenever I up upload a video and all the best for your interview preparation. So till the next time we meet, keep practicing Power BI and have a great day. Bye bye.